Hi, I'm Will at Van Tech Glass and today we're going to show you how to use a bonding fitting kit. So we're going to show you how to use the adhesive um, and the process that you'd follow to bond your window into your van. So we're going to be using the Sikaflex P2G to bond the window in. We're going to show you the process on how to clean the window and how to prime it. So here is our fitting kit. This is a two tube kit. So this is enough adhesive in here and enough in the kit to fit um, a big sprinter window, like a side window. Um, it'll just about fit a pair of cargo barn doors. So in the kit, we've got two tubes of adhesive. We have the nozzles to go on the end of the applicators. We have the glass cleaner activator. Uh, this also goes on the bodywork as well. Um, and then the primers. Um, also got some gloves to keep your hands protected and clean. So let's show you how to use it all. So here's our window ready to be bonded in. I've picked this window just to, just because it's nice and small so it's easy to show you all. And we're going to be using the cleaner activator, primer, and put our gloves on to protect our hands. So first up, this is the cleaner activator for the primer. This is to make sure that all the surfaces are nice and clean. And to use this, you basically just squeeze the squeeze that section then inside there and the liquid will flow onto this sponge. And you basically just clean that all the way around. And you also use this on the bodywork of the van to make sure that's nice and clean before you put the primer on. So this is the primer. This is used to make sure that there's good adhesion between the bodywork and the window. So inside here we have a little, uh, just got to pierce that lid in there, pop your cap back on and then squeeze and the primer will come onto the foam there. So that's the primer all ready to use. I pierced the end and giving it a little squeeze and the, the primer's now on the end of the sponge. What I like to do when I'm priming the window is just lift it off the surface a little bit, just put anything you can underneath it because you can use your finger as a guide. Um, so if you kind of put your pinky here and then use that as a guide all the way along, you can get a nice neat line pretty much all the way along. You can do that pretty much in one. So that's the primer all on everywhere, right on the edge there, you just about see it. Um, it's worth a mention that obviously not, not every window is the same. Um, if you've got a, a bigger window with a bigger edge, um, you're going to have to put the primer in a, in a different place. The primer has got to go wherever the adhesive is going to touch. So if you have to measure, you know, measure the bodywork of the panel and then work out where the adhesive would go there so that you can put the primer in the right place. Um, just because I've, I've primed this, this very edge here um, doesn't mean to say that that's going to be correct on, on your window. So just make sure that you've got the primer in the right place. Um, it's also worth a mention that the, the adhesive that we're going to use is, is Sikaflex P2G and that means it's primerless to glass. So actually you don't have to do this but I'm an old fart and I've been fitting windows for 17 years and I've, and I've, always, I've always, always, always just put primer on the glass as well. You get enough primer in the kit that we supply to make sure that you've you've got enough to do everywhere. So it doesn't hurt putting it on there as well. Although with this Sikaflex P2G, technically you don't need to. However, I would always use that just to make just to make doubly sure. So by this point, you will have cleaned the window. You will have cleaned the bodywork on your van. You will have primed the bodywork of the van and primed the window itself, ready to put the adhesive on. So the adhesive is uh, applied to the vehicle body. This is Sikaflex P2G. This is the stuff that comes in in most of our kits. This can be purchased either on its own or when you purchase your windows from our website, you've got the option to select which fitting kits you might want. Quick tip on the adhesive if you're using a standard calcium gun. Um, this stuff's fairly thick in the tube. So to help it come out a bit easier, then you can heat this up. Don't set it on fire. Don't, don't burn it. Um, just a gentle warming with a hairdryer will mean that it will come out of the tube a lot easier. So when you're applying the adhesive, um, it comes with a, uh, a pre-cut end here. So it comes out in a V. So the V faces away from the direction of travel. So the V is this side and the direction of travel would be that side. So you want to go round, starting from the bottom, 
go all the way around in one go. Try not to pull it off the panel too much because you'll end up with like a little pocket behind it. Um, and that could mean a leak later on. So start at the bottom all the way around in one go. Um, and hopefully that will mean that you, when you push the window in, you won't have any leaks. So when it comes to fitting the window itself, some windows can obviously be pretty big. Um, so in which case I'd probably use two people just to help you in with it. Or if you've got the sucker type things, then um, often you can get a big piece of glass in, you know, just by yourself. But always try and get someone to help you put it in um, and get it set in the right place. Once it's set, kind of, you put it in the right place. Um, use some masking tape. We sell this on our website. This is kind of like a, a low tack, but high grab. I don't know, some kind of special special funky type of tape um, but that sticks to the glass really well meaning that it kind of it won't slump um, the other trick that I do when you're fitting sprinter glasses which are, which are quite heavy um, you get like a packer that sits in between the body panel and the glass itself you get two of those that are kind of the same you could even use a piece of cardboard you know fold a piece of cardboard up twice and then put it under there to get a uniform gap all the way around so once your window's been fitted with the adhesive, you've just got a bit of time left just to wait for it, for the adhesive to set. Um, it, it's, it's kind of weather dependent, temperature dependent. Obviously it's gonna set a lot faster if it's warmer um, than if you're in the middle of Alaska and it's minus four. Um, probably give it about six hours, leave the tape on for that time just to let it set and make sure that it doesn't slump. Um, and then you pretty much, you're all done.